Well, welcome to Raising Warriors for Christ. I'm your host, Pastor Lom. God is still on the throne. I am going to break down this teaching that I've done two series on uh, godly marriages in less than 10 minutes. Right? Why an encounter with God is uh, very important. Now, first, Adam had a relationship with God outside Eve. He was walking with God. And God said it was not good for a man to be alone, so I have to be fast. It was not good for a man to be alone. God brought all the animals, you know, that is business, that is the real estate, everything. Adam had a real estate, he lived in a garden by himself. But God said it's not good for a man to be alone. So God is a God of marriages, right? So what does God do after he brought the animals? It was still not good for a man to be alone. Then God caused Adam to sleep, that is death. So marriage is from a place of death. Right, as long as you are alive, right, you have not had an encounter with God. Um, that marriage you are struggling. Is a person who is dead. If you are married, you need to be dead, dead to your senses. The five senses they have to die, right? Because marriage you gonna be tried and tested. So he caused Adam to sleep. That is the uh, spiritual implication of of sleep. Jesus said to die for the his bride, the church to to be alive. You know, that's another revelation. There. Now, uh, he pulled out Eve. Eve had an encounter with God before Adam. You see? Now, what are we saying here? You are not idolizing the marriage. You are idolizing God. God becomes your source. You are withdrawing the water from God, life from God. God is your life source. Now, the struggles that we see is God is not our source in our marriage. Our marriage is. Even the single people, you think if you get married, you will be happy. There are many married people. They are not happy. Some want out. right? So you, an encounter with God is very, very powerful. Now, the next thing that we get here, when God brings, it's God who brought Eve. To, to to Adam, right? Sometimes we look for our own spouses. Now, touch is a move if he, that's what you did. But what you can do is to repent. Say, Lord, I never asked you before I got married. So now my marriage is in trouble. Help, Lord, help. Sometimes the greatest prayer we can ever pray is, Lord, help. I need help here. <laughs> I'm drowning. Yes, but not to blame God. Right, not to blame God because it was not God that brought that spouse. You looked for that spouse for yourself. You 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 said yes to the man and you looked for the woman yourself. So it, it, that's why an encounter with God is very important because you all of a sudden you are no longer blaming God, right? If we look at Adam, right, when they when God brought Eve to Adam, what did Adam says? Wowcha, awesome. He says, no, oh, Lord, you have outdone yourself. Flesh of my flesh, that is covering. Bone of my bone. This is before sin, by the way. This is before sin. What Adam said to Eve, it was powerful. You know, you hear these days, men, um, women are like this. The women of these days, they don't respect, they don't submit, they don't. It's an encounter with God. So you are now seeing women from an earthly, fleshly, fallen position. So an encounter with God will make you see women from God's perspective. God sees people that need redemption. God sees people that are beautiful. God, that's why God created women. He created them to be beautiful. He created them to be loved. Right. So as long as you still see women from that position of, uh, you know, that putting them down. That is not God. So you need an encounter. There are many people that go to church, they preach uh, from sometimes pulpits, putting women down. That is not God's plan. So it means an encounter with God. Isn't it? Eh? Right. Vice versa. Even as a woman, right? There are many women. Men are like dogs. Men. Are... No, no, no. I'm not a dog. I'm a man of God. I love Jesus. Glory to God. You might as well say, my husband is like this, or my father, since you are saying men, or my brothers are like this. So don't use your own experience of a, a man to, 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 to fight men. That is the reason why I'm really pushing this encounter. Because when you have an encounter with God, you begin to see from an elevated position. You start seeing marriage, relationship from God's perspective, not your perspective, not the world perspective. The world is in sin. It lieth in darkness. The world is under the influence of the evil one. The God of this world has blinded the people of this world. They are blind, right? So you want God to open your eyes just like Bartimaeus. You see, an encounter with God, you are crying out, Son of David, open my eyes. Have mercy on me. So you want God to open your eyes. Why do you want God to open your eyes? Remember, 
Now, when we cross over to Genesis chapter 3, you know, the, the Bible speaks of a snake being cunning, the snake being sadly, the snake started leading Eve to the wrong tree. Remember, Eve was not a fallen creation, right? The snake led a woman that was perfect, not fallen, no sin, no influence, led her to the wrong tree, right? It says, did God really say? It got Eve to doubt what God said. Many of us, our marriages are not based on what the Word of God says. So an encounter with God will bring us back to the Word of God. How as a man I ought to treat my wife? How as a wife you ought to treat your husband? Yes, they might be bad. We are not running away from the fact that people might really be bad. Some are abusive. Some are narcissists. Some are, are control freaks. You know, let's use all these words that we use. You know, yes, some are, some are like that. Some Sometimes you know we are married to people that are selfish self-centered no relational skills at all right now we find ourselves in that predicament right but we then want to go back to the truth we want to go back to the word of god that's what is needed that's why we speak of an encounter with god for our own sanity, for God to change us, for God to transform us, because we cannot change the other part. To call them names is not going to help. But when we encounter God, the word of God, it will transform us, it will change us. Eve was, wrong to, was led to the wrong tree. The devil cheated and lied uh, on her and lied about what God had said. God had to doubt the word of God. So the enemy will get us to doubt the word of God. The word of God is the truth and the truth will make you free. Most marriages, even Christian marriages, they are based on motivational speaking. It's not based on the word of God. So we need to go back to the word of God. Glory to God. Now, the next thing you, we know they ate, God comes. Adam, where art thou? They are hiding. Now, they've come out from the presence of God. So now God is calling them to an encounter with him. Right, God is calling them to an encounter with Him. Where art thou positional? God, does, God knows where they are geographically, but He's asking where Adam is. He's asking Adam because men, we are the head. Many men have, have gone all again. So, an encounter with God, even as a wife with a man that has gone all, you begin to pray for Adam to be in his position because the Bible says the head of every man is Christ. Not a business, not a job, not religion, not preaching, you know, not sports, not Arsenal. I mean, Arsenal football, but not Arsenal, right? So, the head of every man is Christ. Glory to God. So now as a woman, when your, your, your man has come out of alignment, everything comes out of alignment. So you know how to pray him into alignment. Adam, where art thou? You know, did you eat of the tree that I commanded you not to eat of? Listen to this. Blame. Blame comes into play. It's the woman you gave me. Before sin came, what did Adam say? Flesh of my flesh, bone of my bones. Wow, cha. she is gorgeous. She is a drop-dead, beautiful Nubian princess. That is what Adam said. Right? But after sin, we are living in a sinful, sinful world. It's a fallen world. So our marriages are fallen. So an encounter with God will cause us to live from a place of elevation where we are seated with Christ, the glory to God, we begin to see marriage from God's perspective. It's the woman that you gave me. And God turns to the woman. Woman, what have you done? It's the snake. Blame. Without an encounter with God, we start blaming each other. Right? You did this, you did that. When there is strife, it says this wisdom is not of God. It's beneath, it's below, it's from below. It's demonic. Right, it's demonic. When he says it's demonic, it's, it's devils. Right, it will destroy. So blame, start blaming each other. Think of it. When men meet, most men they talk bad about women. When most women meet, they talk bad about men. So what is needed? An encounter with God to bring us to a place of transformation because if we are not transformed that which is not transformed in us will be transferred to the next generation i'm your host pastor Lo. i promised under 10 minutes to explain what i am teaching in jesus mighty name have an awesome blessed blessed day may you have an encounter with god in the area of relationships and marriages in jesus mighty name